section of the story like dedicated to just putting people on timeout. Just like they just have to sit there for twenty minutes, and that's it. And you guys have to just think about what you did. Yeah. Alright, so we have Master Mono versus Louis Jesus, Louis Cavelling, uh, hero. I don't know if he's clairvoyant or if he actually knows who, uh... Well, he must have actually seen that, uh, he was playing a young man in this match, and that's why he chose to go, uh, um, Yeah, hero. Louis trying to end it all, going with the... He set up an immediate attack chase, tries to get it with the S-Smash. Almost gets it. Um... And, and, I don't know, I feel like both of them are just kind of swinging at each other right now, getting, like, a good feel for one another. Oh man, that black is like an expensive mistake, man. It's like you're, you're really gambling that you're, they're gonna die immediately, but they don't. It's like you always like black and, and mm -hmm. this is gone. We should, I really like the way that Master Mono is using his boomerang to sort of cover his worst up these. He's making them seem like a lot safe. He's making them really, really safe. If Fluey gets too hasty and greedy with his punish, he's gonna get hit by the boomerang on its way back. Yeah, um, yeah, the a big thing with uh with Young Link, especially with his uh up is that you don't have that much of a window to really punish it. And if you misspace it at all, you're gonna be like, actually pretty decent amount of damage, if not die before doing it. So you want it's to like careful. 30 something, right? Like the up B into up air. Yeah, I, it does it's 30 something total, but even if you just get hit by like the last like, hit into the up air, it's gonna be a solid like 18, 20 percent. Mm -hmm. And you're still gonna be above Young Link and you still have to find a way to land. Mm -hmm. that's, that's its own mess on its own, but Master Mono finally able to find the forwarder to take the stock. Uh, Louis, you know, spending... I don't know, I like the way that he's maneuvering, uh, like, the down platforms with his, uh, up B, but I'm not really sure what the use of it sometimes is. Well, if he manages to hit Master Mono, you can generally confirm into, uh, into like, smashes and tilts with it, mm -hmm. especially, like, if you land on the platform with him. I thought that was like um, a town and city thing, mostly. You can do it. You can do it on PS2 as well. It just the time it can be kind of tough. But I think he's mostly using like a panic button to get out because it's a sudden burst of upwards movement. Mm -hmm. And if he tries to punish the spot that you're standing in, that he's actually gonna like do some damage. He's gonna lie. He drifted to the right. That was really really smart. If he was any closer to the left, he would have most certainly pineappled. Um, I, that was really nice, pulling up the menu like that just sort of forces Master Mono to completely halt all sort of, you know, any any kind of edge guarding or ledge trapping attempts um, because of like the pressure from the flame slash. Okay, good bounce, good bounce. That's gonna give him a little bit of extra pressure to work with. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just gonna be so, so helpful in just like making sure. Like, like look, what, what is that booming gonna do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, but like, uh, Louis is giving him a little bit too much space to work with here. Mm -hmm. Like, especially like when he has a uh, when he has bounce, he should be trying to like exert pressure because that means that the big confirms that he intends to rely on aren't really available to him. But he's not like taking advantage of that. Yeah, I'm gonna run right into the four with the arrow. Uh, this is still like really really close game. This could still go either way. Just Louis has to find a way to be able to take the stuff. Um, I feel like he's a little bit too focused on like pulling menu when he is ledge trapping. Um, and as a result, Mono is just able to get back onto stage uh, for free. But that's gonna be the weak grab. No punish. Yeah, Hero can have a tough time punishing uh, re grab on the ledge if he doesn't have uh, a menu option ready to go. Just mm -hmm. because uh, most of his uh, options hit the ledge are either really weak or they're just kind of on the slow side. Well, the bounce animation while Hugo's yeah. getting hit by Young and Zuppy is hilarious. Because the circle <laughs> stays in place, but you just see him spinning. Oh, he's dead! Oh, no! Dude. This man had all the speed in the world and he used it to go directly into the blast zone. Young and okay. Ah, uh, he's poor boy. Alright, that's game one. I have, you know what, for Louis' sake, I have my slime plushie on my lap, cheering him on. I mean, well, who knows, maybe he's about to go, uh... If he's about to go, we about said, to go I'll, take out, I'll take out my Link Fit. And I know <laughs> what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, you know, it's a different game. And so I'm gonna that I'll say, say that uh, Drag Go for Smash. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh my god. I, I can talk about that for a long time. I really think, <laughs> I really think the Link Fit fella would be a, an amazing fit for Smash. I think. Right. 
I think that dude has like so much potential, so much like so many little bits of design that could be made into fully fleshed out moves. I don't, I don't know about that. Sure. Yeah, he's going man. He's going way fit. And he's going numbers his color. Interesting. This man's gonna channel John Numbers through his soul into his controller to carry him to victory. Um I don't even know how to respond to that. I don't think I really want him to channel John Numbers energy with his Wii Fit. <laughs> you don't like numbers? No, I love numbers. Do I like his Wii Fit? It's a... Uh... You know. Moses Wingfit is a, is a very practical character. He's a very practical man. He's like, I'm just gonna jump off the stage and if you follow me... <laughs> he's literally channeling numbers now. now I mean, you know that doesn't work that well. And now you can kind of see like why he probably feels that this matchup is great. He's getting anything shot back at him. Yeah. He really feels super uncomfortable right now. He just can't seem to find a way to get in. I feel like every time he is going with an approach, <laughs> it's really telegraphed and it's like this huge jumping. And Master Tumano is just like able to anti him every single time for you. I want to see him play like a little more neutral. Like I understand that when you're being pressured by uh, by Young Link, it's very tempting to run off the stage, but that clearly doesn't work because Young Link can fill so much space with all of his projectiles. This is going to make it so that you're going to have a hell of a time getting back onto the stage. <laughs> He's not going to bite the bait. He has literally oh no reason God. to do so. Yeah. Also, are you suggesting that you can't play neutral for him off stage as we fit? One hundred percent. Interesting. I mean, not on this matchup, clearly. <laughs> also, like... I love the fact that F felt just straight it with Young Link's grounded up beef. You see, like, Master Mono, like, he seems Ooh. he seems confident right now. Like, Louie, I feel like he's just running into things. He's not being as patient as he could be sometimes. Yeah, Louis just can't seem to find any footing, like covering the ground with the boomerang and the fire arrow. Like he was like forced to neutral air dodge in like, Master Mono's face. Like, Master Mono's doing a good job of just making Louis so uncomfortable in the air. He can't find any space for himself to land. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what Louis can do in this matchup because it's like if he pulls out the soccer ball at any point and it's not 100% safe, he's gonna have a really tough time uh, making up the space that he loses from it. And some citation is like a good move, but it's not gonna get him to kill if uh, he's not allowed to charge it properly. Yeah. I feel like Louis right now, like, he's maybe like a little bit frustrated, he's starting to force his approaches. I see him just like, now he just wants to get something started, but he's jumping right into Master Mono, trying to get a landing. Not even gonna try to punish that lift at the, just goes right through the deep bleeding instead. Well, dude, and he had Sun Citation too, he could've just let it rip. It was fully charged at that point. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, not great, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, this match seems to be kind of snowballing right now. It's like you have to play on Young Link's terms. Like you're not a uh... soccer ball is usually like a super huge, uh... it's a huge asset to Weep the trainer because she's allowed to. <laughs> Whoa! What? I don't think I've ever seen that kill like that. What just happened? Yeah, he down tilted. He's a deep breathing down tilts. Uh... Oh. And you're not allowed to air dodge below the stage. On PS2, that's just instant. Well, good job to uh, Master Monkey or Master. What was his name? Yeah, it was Master Monkey. Good job, dude. And the slick 2 -0. Oh, goodness, my tea is ready. I'll be right back. I just need to quickly grab my mug of tea. Oh, I'll make sure not to spill it. You know, by saying that, you actually increase somebody's chances of spilling it. You do know that, yes. You need to focus on your tea as opposed to whether you spill it or not. Now, now I'm actually just like really afraid of it and I don't want to spill tea all over my computer. <laughs> Jesus, okay, I'm sorry. You're making me second guess myself. This is your fault. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I just really <laughs> want to grab my tea. One second. Yeah, enjoy your tea. Hey guys, if you're enjoying uh, what you've been watching, super kind of chill, Xeno Wi-Fi 8, oh god, this is a one. Um, hopefully many, not hopefully many, I really want to get back to uh, to doing the regular Xeno Weeklies. But uh, this has been really fun, guys, and to everybody that's been tuning in, thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't followed yet, please, 
so it really helps us out. And if you can give us